Yo, what up guys, Sammy Lee here. Today I'm gonna talk about the Paul George one from Nike. Um, so Nike just revealed the Paul George one, or I'm just gonna call it PG one. And yeah, it's, it also stands for point guard, I know. A lot of you, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I got at least like 250 DMs of you guys. Uh, on Instagram, you know, DMing me about the Paul George one. So thank you for that, even though that was a lot. I tried to respond to every one of them, but um, it was a lot. So um, anyways, sorry if I didn't get to you, but um, thank you guys for sharing the info. But anyways, yeah, so here's the leaked image, or it's not leaked, it's officially, um, you know, out. You know, they, uh, they unveiled the official pictures and um, to be honest I think it looks really really dope um, silhouette wise just looking at it um, I think it looks dope performance wise though oh, okay so let's let's go over the performance so um, it's okay so starting from the bottom started from the bottom now okay never mind okay so uh, starting from the bottom the uh, the traction is a multi-directional scale inspired blade traction provides ultimate court grip so um, I I don't know. Usually when Nike says you know they're focusing on traction and ultimate court grip or whatever, um, it's usually pretty good. On on like other shoes, it uh, you know like shoes that don't have really good traction or whatever, it usually doesn't um, say it has good traction or Nike doesn't say that. So maybe you know I'm, I think Nike was focusing on traction uh, also for Paul George, you know, because he. Yeah, you know, he needs traction, right? So, there's that, but um, it is a translucent outsole, it looks like, or maybe on this pair, or on this pair. So, um, I don't know, we'll see We'll see how that holds up. Okay, and then now moving on to the cushioning system. The cushioning system is just a zoom air unit um, in the forefoot. It looks like a pretty big, um, big unit. Uh, maybe... No, maybe it'll feel like the Jordan 29, but that's unlocked zoom, but I don't know. We'll see But the thing is this is a um, bottom loaded zoom unit. It looks like so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it feels uh, Hopefully it feels really nice and of course Nike doesn't really do anything in the heel They don't like putting cushioning or anything in the heel. So um, yeah, it's probably just the final on midsole. Okay, the materials, uh, moving on to the upper, it looks like they use a mesh in the forefoot and it looks like a pretty shitty mesh, to be honest. But, um, I don't know, hopefully it's a nice mesh. But it reminds me of the Prime Hype DF material, or it looks like it, and that wasn't the best material. Um, but uh, that's in the forefoot, and then they have a midfoot strap, or forefoot strap, um, which I don't think is really gonna do anything much. But there's that. And then there's a Flywire technology loop system. So I guess it's like Flywire, but it's it's like the strap, seatbelt strap type of Flywire, not like the actual wire. Kind of like what Jordan uh, uses with their, uh, what is it called? The flight something? It's flight, the flight strap, I think. But anyways, there's that. And then in the back, um, I'm not sure what the material is. It looks like a scaly material. But it's probably some some type of synthetic material, and um, yeah, that's about it. It's a it's a a full one booty upper. Um, Nike, please just just put a tongue on that. You know what I'm saying? Please, please just put a tongue. One booty uppers is not the way to go unless it's a nice fit. Then it's okay. But why can't you just put a tongue on it? Um, what, what's the difference, you know? Like, they make it look like there's a tongue, so why don't you just put a tongue? It's better than having it one booty because one booty upper, if it doesn't fit your foot, then you're screwed, you know? Um, but with a tongue, you have a little bit more um, of a, a, it's a little bit more forgiving, you know? But anyway, there's that, and then it looks like there's a lace lock. Um, okay, a lace lock, I don't, I don't know. But you know, it's a it's a budget model. It's, uh, it's supposed to come out uh, for one hundred and ten dollars, and Paul George is debuting the shoe uh, 
in London on Thursday, January 12th. Um, so, yeah. Uh, am I excited? Yeah, uh, it looks really dope. I think it's going to be a pretty good performer. Hopefully the traction is good. And, um, I don't know, what do you guys think? I, um, do you guys think it looks dope? I think it might... You know, a lot of you guys actually like uh, how the shoe looks. You know, usually when the shoe comes out, everyone just hates on it first and then it grows on, on, the, on the person and then, you know, you start to like it. But, um, this is one of the shoes where... Like, I've seen a lot of comments where you guys love the shoe. So, uh, I think that's kind of dope. Uh, performance wise, hopefully the traction is good. The, the cushioning is probably just going to be really good. 